At center, we see what I presume to be Lucian warriors and the Kings of Fjord. I've learned a great deal about the first King of Lucis, but I never knew he was second in line. It seems to depict a legend in which the Chosen King dispels the darkness. If that's true, does that mean Lucis intends to someday stand above all others? <laughs> Their trifling tales mean nothing in the face of our superior technology. Only we can restore balance to our world. At the top of the painting, we see the Oracle herself. The bloodline of the Oracle is one of the oldest in Eos, originating with Ero Mirus Flore. Only they possess the power to commune with the gods. This painting depicts the Oracle as some goddess of light herself. She'd doubtless prove a powerful ally if she could be persuaded. On the sides of the frame, we see the Hexathion. Conspicuously absent is the traitorous god of fire who started the Great War of Old. Perhaps developing a deeper understanding of the demons will bring us closer to comprehending their divine counterparts. But what if I were to find a way to combine those two disparate elements? By my estimation, the grotesque creatures depicted here are likely demons. Could this mean these monsters will be harbingers of the apocalypse? If only we could find a way to harness their power for ourselves. The line of Lucis was chosen to eradicate evil from Eos. And with the Divine on their side, how could they fail? the sun, perhaps. Uh, I'd best cover up. found scarcely a mention of you. I barely believed you existed till I saw you with my own eyes. With your help, my research is proceeding smoothly. You have my thanks. This must be how the gods feel looking down upon our world. Here we have a model of imperial territory. It includes our present lands as well as our future acquisitions. Feel free to have a look. The 
there's something you should see. Come with me. I found something most interesting on the Rock of Ravito. If my experiment on this specimen succeeds, it might provide the information you've been looking for. This way. Freet the Infernian. <gasps> you subjugated a god and brought him here? He was sound asleep, just like the legend said he'd be, so we put him on ice. Do you think you could turn him into a demon? If you managed to demonify a deity, you could learn truths no mere mortal could ever dream of knowing. You'll access 2,000 years of his memories, and if you can control him, he'll be a weapon of supreme power. It's certainly an enticing offer, isn't it? Just think you could exact sweet revenge through divine retribution. How do you know what I want? I don't, but I know you have no other options. Well, shall we? Come see the fruits of my Magitek research. This way. The ancient civilization of Solheim, forefathers of our magic technology, once flourished on this land. Had they not incurred the wrath of the gods, they may have remained prosperous to this day. And you wish to restore them to greatness? To surpass them. Which is why I need you to lend me your strength. But I'm certain magic technology and demons are the keys to unlocking the door to a new future. <laughs> Lucians? But how? Kunmi squad, Adagium sighted. Initiating Requesting Gaga from Nimbus squad. Shutting down communications until all clear. <sighs> So, you've come to kill me, have you? Or die trying. Just as you have killed me, fellow well, right the same. Right. 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 satisfaction is right. right. Though I may be done, by the way, it is on the mind and heart of your soul. Would you allow me to I will be Enough! Ah! Uh. 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 
show you realize <laughs> Kingdom and burn them all to the ground. <gasps> no, Divine retribution for my sins. You've no sins to atone for. Gods! Answer me! Why have you burdened us with this fate? Error! Oh, no! Error! Please! In the names of the gods above, Fulfill your calling, Arden, and punish me for my sin! Era. Kill me! That's right, kill her. Put that monster out of its misery, just like I did. Save lives. 
<laughs> Just like you saved that innocent man by turning him into a demon. Please, Arden. You must live. I can't. Not without you. <laughs> Come. Why not give the lady what she wants? <sighs> <laughs> Once again, you failed to save her. No surprise. A monster can do not but destroy. <laughs> I'll never forgive you, Somnus. This monster may not be able to destroy you, but I'll see to it that I destroy everything you built. Hear me, gods above. No longer shall I supplicate you for pardon. No longer shall I sojourn toward the light. Nay, the path I intend to tread is paved with blood and darkness. No longer shall I seek your guidance. This path is mine to tread alone. <laughs> <laughs> the Empire's demonic experiments bore fruit before long, precipitating the production of a Magitech infantry. As recognition for his contribution to this research, Arden Azunia was inaugurated as Imperial Chancellor. Thanks to its newfound firepower, Niflheim managed to break the stalemate that shackled the nation for more than a hundred years, and, in turn, forced Lucis to scale back its magical barrier. The untimely passing of King Mors ushered in the era of a new monarch, and the young Regis Lucis Kylum succeeded the throne. Meanwhile, Arden began to spread the Star Scourge throughout the world, stealing people's memories and learning as much about the Kingdom as he could. In time, those memories began to merge with his own, gradually transforming him into a wicked echo of his former self. And now, at long last, the time for his revenge has come.
Attention, an enormous unidentified life form has appeared near the Citadel. The creature has begun stealing flames, turning the area surrounding the Citadel to a sea of fire. All citizens must be back in the one, two, three. Is this thing on? Greetings, people of the Kingdom of Lucis. Do forgive me for interrupting the festivities. But I must tell you, this day of rapturous revelry shall be your last. Call it divine retribution. False kings and fraudulent nations are fated to perish. Who is he? We've yet to ID him. Whoever he is, it's clear he wishes us harm. You stay here. I am going to put a stop to this madman. Well, time to set to work. Attention all units, this is your captain speaking. Code red, I repeat, code red. Follow your commander's orders. And get the situation under control. Everywhere Think you can kill me? I'd love to see you try. Over here. seen a ghost. Take this! Over here! Not a ghost. It's over! Engaging the target! He's so strong! Oh. Sending backup. Don't let him get away. Oh, I've given up the hunt already. Uh. Over here! Where's your head? back and enjoy the show. Ah. Now where in the world might those dastardly devices be? Get 
I've marked the location of all the devices they're using to amplify the wall. They seem to be positioned on rooftops around the city. Find them and destroy them. With pleasure. I'll be sure to keep you abreast of my progress. Ugh, no rest for the wicked. Perhaps I'll take the high road. I must say, I expected more from you. Now, there's nobody else, just us. Do or die, it's real tough.